In 1802, the ships of French navigator Nicolas Baudin's expedition sailed close to a small rocky island 18.5 kilometres north of Maria. Observing lots of seals on the island, the Frenchman named it Ile de Foc, Island of Seals. Further south, they named Ile de Nord, just off Maria Island. Both islands are nature reserves. They're just two of more than 300 islands dotted around Tasmania's coastline. Islands, especially when they're remote and infrequently visited by people, are important habitats for seabirds and marine mammals, like Australian fur seals. Ildenor is home to significant breeding colonies of little penguins and short-tailed shearwaters. Further away, outside the Maria Island Marine Reserve, Ilda Fock also has breeding colonies of seabirds, but it's the seals that create the strongest impression. Ilda Fock is a haul-out or resting place for seals. It's a great spot to observe these curious and playful animals. There are clear guidelines about how to approach the seals. They can be panicked into a stampede by noisy engines or a speeding boat. But they will approach and investigate a stationary vessel. Enormous numbers of seals have visited Ile de Foc in the past. A rare rock called phosphatic flowstone is found here. It is actually formed from animal excrement. Our divers swam with the seals to capture these images, mindful of the fact that great white sharks prey on seals and are likely to be present too. that cut right through the island below sea level. The walls are lined with filter feeding marine animals, usually found much deeper. conditions allow, organised tours may enter the caves as part of the seal aware visit to Ile de Foc. Seals have not bred on the island since they were harvested in the 1800s. Their main breeding grounds are in Bass Strait. Seal numbers are only slowly increasing after the slaughter of the 19th century sealing trade which almost wiped them out in a few decades. Therefore, islands like this are an important habitat for the survival of the species. Mm -hmm.